Promoter from New Jersey is speaking out about his harrowing ordeal. He and his son have been held hostage in Africa for more than a month. He says it's a debacle over a rap gig and they're being forced to pay up. Ileana Diaz is in our newsroom right now with that story. Good evening, Ileana. Good evening, Brenda. Yeah, that New Jersey father and son are being told they owe about $50,000. And before they can even settle that, they're in a process of going through court appearances and dealing with the Angolan government in Africa. And even after that's done, they still need approval to leave the country. They showed up, they had every intention of promoting a concert, and they're being penalized for somebody else's, uh, you know, not showing up. She's referring to famous rapper Nas. He was supposed to go to Angola, Africa with these club promoters for a gig. Instead, Nas was a no-show. So the organizer in Angola put Patrick Alaco and his son, also Patrick, on citizen's arrest restricting them from leaving the country. It's a very stressful situation. Uh, I mean, we've been here for 32 days. We've had to pay for our own captivity, which is absolutely unheard of. The Alacos got Nas to pay back the Angolan promoter, but are still negotiating remaining fees and waiting to have travel restrictions lifted. They tell us it's a drawn out process the Angolan government is in charge of, but local officials are trying to help. Now they've paid the, the original payment on that contract that was due. Uh, I'm hoping that, you know, uh, Secretary Clinton, as well as the federal government, can help get these men back home to Morris Township. The deputy mayor of Morris Township wrote Clinton and others letters, but the Alaco family says it's a waiting game they have no control of. The family does have an attorney in Angola who's asked the government to lift travel restrictions and let them settle all of this back in America. So far, though, no answers. They're hoping U.S. officials can speed up this process. In the newsroom, Ileana Diaz, The 10 O'Clock News.